the pessimist sees difficulty in every opportunity but the optimist sees opportunity in every difficulty namaskar welcome to pt pointers and in this video we will cover major headlines of the hindu indian express and press information bureau so without wasting any time let's start today's discussion and our first headline is related to ladakh's protest which is related to sixth schedule of the constitution now let's know more about it so friends the sixth schedule under article 244 of the constitution protects tribal populations allowing for the creation of autonomous development council which can frame laws on land public health and agriculture and currently it is being implemented in assam meghalaya Tripura and Mizoram but Ladakh has erupted in protests several times over the past few years amid concerns about the protection of land resources and employment for local residents and bureaucratic overreach it is argued that Ladakh's natural resources are under attack in the name of large scale tourism hydel and even solar power therefore there is a demand for inclusion under sixth schedule that would allow ladakh to create autonomous district and regional councils with the power to administrate tribal areas this would include the power to make laws on subjects such as forest management agriculture administration of villages and towns inheritance marriage divorce and social customs and do you know friends Ladakh was turned into a union territory without any legislative assembly after the special status of jammu and kashmir under article 370 of the constitution was revoked by the parliament in 2019 and erstwhile state was split into the union territories of ladakh and jammu kashmir our next headline is related to callisto which is one of the jupiter's largest moons and it is the third largest moon in the solar system after ganymede and titan callisto is primarily composed of water ice rocky materials sulfur dioxide and some organic compounds these substances make the moon as potential candidate for supporting life in the solar system beyond the earth and recently international team of scientists including from india has discovered strong evidence of indicating the presence of ozone on the callisto now let's know more about ozone so friends the ozone molecule composed of three oxygen atoms bonded together the ozone layer is found in the lower part of the earth's stratosphere and it serves as a shield because without the ozone layer ultraviolet radiation levels would be much higher on the planet surface making it uninhabitable for many species and disrupting entire ecosystems now according to recent report of the world bank asia's economies are growing more slowly than before the pandemic and the world bank is forecasting that growth will slow to 4.5% debt trade barriers and policy uncertainties are dulling the region's economic dynamism and government needs to do more to address long term problems such as weak social safety nets and under investment in education our next headline is related to havana syndrome and it is in the news because recent media investigation suggest that havana syndrome is linked to russian intelligence now let's know more about havana syndrome so friends it was first reported in 2016 when us diplomats in cuba's capital reported falling ill and hearing piercing sounds at night sparking speculations of an attack by a foreign entity using an unspecified sonar weapon and its other symptoms include bloody noses headaches and vision problems our next headline is related to center state financial relations and it is in the news because recently supreme court referred to a five judge constitution bench the suit filled by the kerala government raising the issue of ceiling on the net borrowing the original suit was filled under article 131 of the constitution which deals with the supreme court's original jurisdiction in any dispute between the center and states now let's know more about central state financial relations so friends article 268 to 293 contained in part 12 of the constitution deals with the central state financial relations and article 293 of the constitution deals with the borrowings by states it fixes territorial limits on the borrowing of states they cannot borrow from outside india the state can borrow within the territory of india upon the security of consolidated funds of state and do you know friends article 292 authorizes the union government to borrow upon the security of consolidated funds of india within the limits which may be fixed by parliamentary law from time to time for this constitution does not fix any territorial limit our next headline is related to reserve bank of india which recently completed 90 years of its establishment now let's know more about reserve bank of india the friends it was established on 1st april 1935 in accordance with the provisions of reserve bank of india act 1934 its central office was initially established in kolkata but it was permanently moved 
moved to Mumbai in 1937. Here, governor sits and policies are formulated. Originally, it was privately owned, but since nationalization in 1949, Reserve Bank is fully owned by the Government of India. Reserve Bank of India's affairs are governed by a central board of directors and it comprises governor and not more than four deputy governors. Reserve Bank of India is responsible for monetary stability currency management, inflation targeting, regulating the banking system, and setting interest rates. Our next headline is related to Kodai Canal Solar Observatory, which is located in the Palani range of hills in southern India, and it was established in 1899 as Solar Physics Observatory. And do you know, friends, the story of Kodai Canal Solar Observatory start with a severe famine that affected the then Madras presidency in the early 1890s. A solar observatory was decided to be set up in order to obtain more data on how the sun heats up Earth's atmosphere and to understand monsoon patterns, Kodai Canal was chosen as the location for its proximity to the equator and its dust-free, high-altitude location. It has made some key discoveries instrumental in understanding the sun and its effects on the Earth's surface. The Evershed effect was discovered at this observatory in 1909. Our next headline is related to United Nations Conference on Trade and Development recent report. And according to this report, India's trade reliance on China and European Union is rising. This estimates based on national statistics and it showed that India's dependence on China and European Union grew by 1.2% while its reliance on Saudi Arabia reduced by 0.6%. This came despite India's effort to cut reliance on China by implementing its flagship production link incentive scheme and quality control orders. Our next and last headline is related to Scores 2.0 which is a complaint redress system of Securities and Exchange Board of India. It is more user-friendly version and this version will make Make the process more efficient through auto routing, auto escalation, and monitoring by the designated bodies and reduction of timelines. So, with this, let's conclude our today's discussion. Thanks for listening, and for regular updates, you can follow us on various social media platforms.